Well, it's no secret that the Rio Grande Valley is experiencing a population growth. And with more people, transportation updates are necessary. CBS 4's Imelda Mejia reports. After years of collecting data about traffic reports on the I-2 interchange, the Texas Department of Transportation is allocating $150 million for upgrades to ease traffic flow. If we look at the interchange now, we see that there's uh, um, uh, choke points at uh, peak hours. Truckers driving from Mexico must use the interchange to head up north. These drivers know exactly how much of a hassle traffic can be during peak hours. For the past 22 months, Farm Mayor Ambrosio Hernandez has worked with politicians and members of the Texas Transportation Committee to bring them down to the Rio Grande Valley to show them the problems along the interchange. They needed to experience it firsthand. I thought the fastest way to convince people is to have them their boots on the ground and for them to see it themselves and experience it. So we made sure our visits always time noon, morning, or <laughs> or the evening so they could firsthand see it what we in the Rio Grande Valley go through every day. The interchange at Far was constructed about 20 years ago. In that time, the population has grown immensely. The time for improvements is now before population grows even more. With this $150 million, that is a first step into doing a design that will serve the public for the next 20 years. There are three potential designs for construction. Once the public gives input on if they would like to see additional lanes or a widening of ramps or a different option, TxDOT can begin accepting bids for the project. TxDOT will be having an open house tomorrow at the Bogus Event Center here in FAR, or in FAR actually. The meeting will run from 4 to 7 at night. TxDOT will be deciding after the meeting which design they will continue with based on that public meeting.